Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel, Math Make Easy with PDY. In today's lesson, we are going to look at solving system of equations in two variables involving exponential equations. Not to delay, our first question, which we are going to use for our example, it's what's the question that came in the year 2011. Solve for x and y in the following equations. 2 raised to the power x plus 4y is equal to 1. And the other equation is 2 raised to the power x plus 8y all equal to 1 over 4. You bear with me that the way and manner to go about solving this equation is to try and then do away with the base. And with respect to exponential equations, either you get rid of the base and then you deal with the powers. So to generate our equation one, then two power x plus 4y to write 1 as a base of 2 that becomes 2 power 0 therefore since the bases are the same on both sides of the equation then we can find antilog to the base of 2 and it will be left with x plus 4y equal to 0 and that becomes equation 1 Taking the second equation into consideration, which was given as 2 power x plus 8y all equal to 1 on 4, we can write 1 on 4 as a base of 2, which is going to be 2 power x plus 8y equal to 1 on 2 power 2. Since it's a fraction, we can also express it as a negative exponent. So 2 power x plus 8y will then be equal to 2 power negative 2. Therefore, the bases are now the same. Therefore, I can do away with them and then deal with the parts. And that is finding analog to the base of 2 for both sides. And that will be given as x plus 8y equals negative 2. So that is equation number 2. As I always say, you always need to use the simplest method to get your solution within the shortest possible time. So from equation 1 and 2, either we use elimination method to get the value of x and y as requested. Since from equation one we have the variable x having the same coefficient as compared to that of equation two the variable x over there then we can use the elimination method so we can say that subtract the two equations so subtract subtract equation number one from two so it can be two minus equation one and that is going to give us x minus x sorry x minus x that is zero and then eight y minus four y that is going to give us four y and that will be equal to negative two minus zero is negative two then we divide both sides by four and therefore y will be equal to negative 1 and 2. Getting the value of y, we can substitute it into any of the equations. It can be either equation 1 or 2, but I would have preferred going for equation 1. So we substitute y into equation 1, and that will be giving us x plus 4 
times y value, which is negative 1 and 2, and that must be equal to 0. So x minus 2 will be equal to 0. Yeah, here is 0. So we group terms, and x will be equal to actually the value of 2. So therefore, the value of x is equal to 2. The value of y is equal to negative r. If you are not sure of your answer, you can substitute these two values back into the original equation and you need to get the answers 1 and then 1 fourth. We can actually verify that. So, in verifying whether our value for x and y satisfies the equations which is 2 to the power x plus 4y giving us an answer of 1 and 2 to the power x plus 8y also gives an answer of 1 on 4. Let's do it. I'm using a different marker to actually do that. So that is going to give us 2 to the power x value is actually 2 then plus 4 into bracket the y value negative half. When we simplify the bracket to give us 2 to the power 2 minus 2. And that will be leading us to 2 to the power 0, which is giving us an answer of 1. Likewise, we can verify for 2 to the power x value is 2 plus 8 times negative half. And simplifying the brackets, we have 2 to the power 2 minus 4. And that will be giving us 2 to the power negative 2. And 2 to the power negative 2, with respect to indices, the same as 1 over 2 to the power 2, which is giving us an answer of 1 over 4. So it tells us that the value of x and y are the true values that satisfy the two equations. All right, so let's move to the next example. The next example, we have one of the equations being a linear equation in two variables and the other in exponential equation. So we need to actually write both of them to the same form. Either they are all exponential equations or they are both linear equations, but it's easier write them in both linear form so that you can work out using the simultaneous equation idea. So we can't do anything to the 5x minus 4y equal to 6. So we can label it straight ahead as equation number 1. But with respect to 3 to the power 3 into bracket y minus x which is equal to 1 on 27. We need to write them to a common base on both sides of the equation and then do away with the base and work with the power. So that is going to give us 3 to the power 3y minus x equal to 1 on 27 can be written as 3 to the power negative 3. Now that the bases are the same, we are left with 3 y minus 3x equal to negative 3. And in this case, that can be equation 2. But before I label it as equation 2, let me rearrange it so that it will match up with equation 1. Therefore, we are going to get negative 3x plus 3y giving us negative 3. And that can be labeled as equation 2. So, in getting these two equations, then we can go ahead and solve them simultaneously. We can still use the substitution method. So, let's consider equation number 1. And from equation 1, from equation 1, if we want to make x the subject, it will give us 5x equal to 4, sorry, 5x is equal to 
six minus plus four y. Then we divide both sides by five, so x will be equal to six plus four y divided by five. Then we can substitute the value of x into equation two. So we substitute x into equation number two. In doing so, we're going to obtain negative three into bracket six plus four y all over five, then plus three y, and this might be equal to negative three. Now you realize that the equation has now been written in terms of y, and therefore it is easier to solve it. We can multiply through by five to get rid of the LCM or the fraction. So we are going to end up getting negative three into bracket six plus four y, then plus multiplying the next term by five, we are going to get fifteen y, and this must be equal to negative fifteen. Expanding and simplifying, we have negative eighteen minus twelve y then plus 15y equals to negative 15. Simplifying, we have negative 12y plus 15y must be equal to negative 15 plus 18. Now, on the left-hand side, we are going to obtain 3y, and that will be equal to 3. And therefore, dividing both sides by we are getting y equals 1. So now that we have the value of y as 1, then we can substitute y into the expression for x. So x will be equal to 6 plus 4 times the y value, which is 1, all divided by 5. When we simplify, we end up getting 10 for the node, all over 5, and therefore the x value is two. You can go ahead and test for the values of um, one and two into the first equation. So when we substitute the value of x two in here, you end up getting ten. Then the value of y is one. So you have ten minus four, and the answer is six. And I believe that same solution satisfies the second equation. Let's go to the next example. With the next example, if you look at it carefully, you realize that you have two exponential equations which you are solving them simultaneously. But before you can do that, as you know, you must write them to a common base or a common power so that you can actually um, work easily with them. Having 9x times 3 to the power 2y equal to 1 all on 7 to 9. If you have to simplify this, 9 to the power x can be written as a base of 3, which is the same as 3 to the power 2. So the x will affect it, so it gives us 3 to the power 2 x altogether times 3 to the power y. Now we can go straight ahead and also write 729 as a power of 3. So so what do you think 7 to the 729 in terms of power of 3 what is it actually going to give you? Now is the same as 3 to the power 6. 3 to the power 6. So this is the same as 1 over 3 to the power 6. Now the bases on the left hand side are the same, so we can do the powers. And since they are multiplying, putting the powers together, it goes with addition. Therefore, it gives us 3 to the power 2x plus 2y. And this must be equal to writing this as an exponential 
number, we will have it as e to the power negative 6. Then we can have 2x plus 2y equal to negative 6 as a result of doing away with the base by finding the ancillary to the base 3 of both sides. So that is our equation 1. Now going for equation 2, then we are considering 2 to the power negative x times 4 to the power negative y equal to 1 and 8. With the same procedure we used in the first equation, we must express them to a common base and deal with their powers. So that is going to give us 2 to the power negative x times 4 can be written as a, power, a base of 2, so 2 to the power 2 times negative y. And this should be equal to writing 1 on 8 as a base of 2. That will be given as 2 to the power negative 3. So in simplifying, you realize that you are going to get 2 to the power negative x and minus 2y. And that should be equal to 2 to the power negative 3. So doing away with the common base for both sides, or finding antelope to the base of 2 for both sides, we are going to end up getting negative x minus 2y, and that should be equal to negative 3. So that is our equation 2. Solving the two equations simultaneously, we can use any method, but it's always a use the easiest method that will be quick for you. We can choose to make x the subject from equation 1 and substitute it into equation 2. Making x the subject from equation 2, I, th I, I think I will go for equation 2. So making x the subject from equation 2, then from equation 2, x will be equal to 3 minus 2y. 3 minus 2y. I just actually transpose the 3 negative to join the negative 2y and the negative x was transposed to join the right hand side of the equation so that the s became a positive number and then the negative 3 also became a positive number and that's how I had that. Now substitute x into automatically should be equation 1 and we'll be obtaining 2 multiplying 3 minus 2y and that should be added to another 2y and that should give us negative 6. Now we have an equation in terms of y so we expand and simplify we have 6 minus 4y then plus 2y and that should be equal to negative 6. Simplifying, you have negative 4y plus 2y equal to negative 6, then minus 6 with new terms. So that is going to be this negative 2y, this should be equal to negative 4. And therefore, dividing both sides by negative 2, then it means you are going to get y value equal to positive 6. So from the question, we are to find the value of x and y. Therefore, a value of x is equal to 3 minus 2 times the value of y, which is 6. And x will be equal to 3 minus 12. And x value will be equal to negative 9. So therefore, it implies that x is equal to negative 9 and y is equal to 6. You can go ahead and substitute it into the equation to verify whether it satisfies both of them. And I believe that since the procedure is right, then the values for x and y actually satisfies the two equations. Thanks so much for joining the lesson. I'm really honored that you've taken the pain to learn from this channel. Can you subscribe and then click on the notification bell so that anytime new videos are uploaded, you'll be the first.
get to me. Okay. God bless you.